I admit it, I've got a thing for cinnamon liqueur. It's time for Kitchen Queers! Greetings peeps, welcome to another episode of Kitchen Queers. Mitch in the bar here with you. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Hot Lips cocktail. Ooh. Ah. What is a Hot Lips cocktail? It's our Kitchen Queer spin on a cinnamon cocktail with the addition of slow gin and pomegranate juice. To make the Hot Lips cocktail, you'll need one shot vodka, one shot slow gin, one shot cinnamon liqueur, one shot pomegranate juice, citrus wedges, and one quarter cup red sanding sugar. To begin, let's prepare the serving glass. I'm serving the Hot Lips cocktail in an oversized 10 ounce martini style beverage glass. To create the red sugar rim, I'm going to run a citrus wedge around the entire rim of our serving glass. Now, as you can see, I've already placed a quarter cup of red sanding sugar on a small round plate, and now I'm going to dip the wet rim into the sugar. And voila. A lovely sugar rim for our cocktail. Now it's time to mix the cocktail. I filled the cocktail shaker halfway full with ice cubes. I'm using an 18 ounce, three part cobbler style cocktail shaker. Now I'll add the vodka. I'm measuring the ingredients for the Hot Lips cocktail using two ounce shot glasses. Next, add the slow gin. Slow gin gets its pleasant fruity flavor from droops. Droops are a small fruit relative of the common plum. Now it's time for the cinnamon liqueur. This cinnamon liqueur tastes just like old-fashioned red-hot candies. And finally, the pomegranate juice. No need to use super expensive brand name pomegranate juice. The house brand from the grocery store will work just fine. Now we want to be sure and place the strainer and the cap on the shaker very securely, and we're ready to shake. Shake the cocktail mixture vigorously for eight to 10 seconds or until the exterior of the shaker becomes very cold and frosty. Now it's time to pour. Ooh, gorgeous deep red color. The Hot Lips cocktail is ready to serve. Now, if this generous cocktail is too large for your liking, simply use smaller glasses and split the mix into two cocktails. Let's give the Hot Lips cocktail a taste. Mmm, oh, that is so good. There's a lovely warmth from the spice and the cinnamon liqueur, and it's tempered nicely by the fruitiness from the slow gin and the pomegranate juice. This is a very rich and satisfying cocktail. I think you're gonna like it. Hey, like our cool rainbow logo gear? Get your own at kitchenqueers.com. Just click on the lifestyle button. Cheers, peeps. I'm gonna go finish this cocktail now. Kitchen Queers.